up? It's Hype Monkey. We're standing here with, I don't even need to introduce the guy. Everybody knows him. Look at that face. The pretty boy, right? Miguel Torres, WEC, bantamweight champion, world champion. Is that right? That's right. That's what they say. How you doing, bro? I mean, Pleasure I don't to know. meet you. Pleasure to meet you too, man. So now, I was joking around with him earlier, and I, I, I did that. Oh, you want some of this? And he didn't even smile, and it was like the look of fear in my face. I just got done training, so I'm still. He's still like. I'm still ready to go. In that man. mode, so yeah. you're ready to go. Still ready to handle. So now I got to get this over with, just because Jeff Neal told me if I didn't say this, he would uh, hit me. Jeff Neal says that pound for pound, you are the best fighter in the world right now. I don't know, man. I have a big problem with the pound for pound ranking systems. Um, I don't think uh, it's hard to, to document who's the best fighter in the world right now, but there's a couple guys that are up there. I think in a year or two, I can put myself in that in those ranks. I wouldn't give it to me yet. Um, I think people need to see what I can do still. I need to fight some more quality opponents, but uh, I would consider myself up there. Because you're like 40 and 1? What is it? Like 48 and 1 right now. 48 and 1. What was the, what was the one fight that you lost? Uh, the one loss I had was against a guy named Ryan Ackerman. I came off ACL surgery and fought seven months after. And uh, I lost the decision to him because my body wasn't ready yet. I thought I was ready, but I wasn't ready mentally. So and, are uh, you here tonight just to watch? Are you here tonight to, to scout some no, guys out? No, I actually out, have to... uh, one of my students, my main students, fine tonight. Uh, his name is Juan Magana. He's one of, the, one of my up-and-comers. Uh, I've been training me for five years now. So I'm looking to throw him up in the WC or So how soon. old are you? 27. So you're still, like, right at the prime, right? Yeah. Is that, are yeah. you at the top? Do they consider that, like, too old? Or what, is the, what do they consider? Uh, it's hard to say now, man. MMA, you got guys like Randy Couture. He's 45, 46 years old. They're still, you know, handling business. Um, you got Chuck Liddell. He's 39 going on 40. So, I mean... It depends on when you started and uh, and how hard you train, you know. So do you train right here in Chicago? Is this your hometown? Uh, my hometown is right outside of Chicago. It's in uh, East Chicago, Indiana. Nice. So we're about 30 minutes from here. But uh, my gym's in a, in a city called Hammond, right off the highway. So what would you feel that is your uh, your strength? When you come out here, you know that you're the best at uh, when I grappling, out, when striking? I, when I step out the way I train, I train my stand-up, my ground the same. Um, I've been around the world. I've trained with some of the best teams in the world and some of the best instructors. So uh, I look at my striking as, you know, some of the best in the world, and my grappling is bar none some of the best in the world. So, so you don't have like that. So no, a fighter doesn't come to you, and they're like, his, his ground game's horrible. We got to do that, and we got to get him on the ground. So you're just like all around. Well, I mean, I'm an all-around fighter. My wrestling, if anything, is weak. I don't, I'm not a big wrestler. I know how to wrestle. I just I choose not to. So my biggest asset is to go out there and try to knock a guy out. So you want to just keep him on his feet? And when he him. wants to take me down, I'll go to the ground and do the same thing. Can, I'll you just see, go can I see Kylie little stuff? Like, Show me something oh, like you. Just elbow you in the <laughs> <See>? face. <laughs> how, now, how would you like? What would you do? Like, what is it, when you first come out? You get a guy who comes out. What do you just do? You try to like crack him in the face. I'll, try, I'll him? try to throw a hook or a cross and try to come for a clinch here. So I can get in the clinch and just start yeah. throwing knees. So hit him, him, get him down, and then just give him the knees. Doing, I want to throw my knee right under your right nipple. Liver, right here. Is that like when you're kicking? So you're just kicking. When so I throw, when I when I throw my knees, I'm hitting from here. To, like, it, that knocks the wind out of him. You're not trying to like. That takes the life out of somebody, man. Yep. Yeah. So I'll throw knees, leg kicks to the, to the legs, to the legs, and then uh, after that, it's, it's pretty much easy. Okay. So now you showed me that. So now we got music. You ready? You want to? You know? You ever heard uh, the Smurf? Yeah, yeah. Nah, man. Uh, never heard of the Smurf. Smurf. Uh, you got to dance it. I dance the Latin music. Latin music. Latin music. Latin music. 